okay, let's try this again. I just made a video about how Irizarry, the psycho scum, registered sex offender piece of ghetto filth who's been sitting in the bathroom behind this wall for the last 20 hours now, making banging noises whenever I've tried to go into my bathroom, using a directed energy device whenever I've tried to go into my bathroom, and deliberately burning and propagating intense amounts of cigar smoke, marijuana smoke, and burning rubber smoke throughout the entire night that have been filling my unit to the point where it has affected my voice and my ability to speak. The video I just made is about how that psycho piece of ghetto filth that keeps accessing the premises of this unit has managed to get into this unit twice over the last 20 hours and contaminated personal items that I've left near or around the door while I've been down the hall for a couple of minutes with the door unlocked. The Greenville group has repeatedly referred to Jasmine Arizari, the sex offender and psychopath, as their surveillance expert. So they're not shy about admitting that they are using her for surveillance purposes in other people's units. And the, the result of that is that Arizari manages to get into this unit when I am down the hall just for a couple of minutes, even though she should have absolutely no knowledge of when I am or am not in this unit. And then she manages to get in here and go straight for my personal care items or my disinfectants or my nice clean laundry or my food. And uh, the video that I'm trying to make about that and a voicemail that I just left for the Greenville group is once again, not posting to YouTube because Irizarry, the psycho scum, registered sex offender and psychopath is preventing it from uploading. Oh, no, now it's working. Well, of course, because now I'm making a video about it. It suddenly works. Let's just see how long it takes for it to upload. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so it's not uploading. It just crashed. As you can see, let's try this again, folks. So I spoke too soon. It's actually not uploading. Yeah, YouTube just mysteriously and conveniently crashed just now. You just saw that happening. So that video is actually not uploading. Oh, now she's smacking the wall behind my shower stall. Really loud, actually. What a mentally disturbed piece of shit. Oh. Check this out. Now my entire phone is crashing. Okay, I rest my case. Irizarry is a psycho scum piece of filth who Mr. Oleg Elisayev keeps bragging is such a talented cyber criminal. She can hack into anything, according to what he said. Yeah, so that video just did not upload. Let's try this again. This is like the fifth time I'm trying to upload that video that contains a recorded voicemail to the Greenville group about how Irizarry, the psycho scum, sex offender, psychopath, and surveillance expert contaminated this razor blade that I've been decontaminating all afternoon in a little container of rubbing alcohol. And this is the rubbing alcohol right here. Um, I just left them a voicemail. And that video is not uploading because Irizarry doesn't want it to upload. Look, now it's going to files. Yeah. Mr. Oleg Lisayev is her handler here at the Greenville Group. He's her sponsor. He brags about her cybercrime abilities because he's a crooked Russian slumlord that seems to think it's okay to use hackers to do your dirty work. Mr. Elisayev is so prejudiced against white females that he doesn't rent to white females. And I am the only Caucasian female living in this building. I really haven't seen any other ones in years. And Mr. Elisayev is doing everything he can to wage a smear campaign against me by making up stories about my tenancy and then taking those stories to court. All right, so let's, this is the sixth time now that I'm trying to upload. Yep, see, it's not uploading. It's going to files instead. Every time I try to upload that video, YouTube redirects the upload to an app that has nothing to do with it. Yeah, so you check this out. Let's try this again, folks. Irizarry, the psycho scum, sex offender, Mr. Oleg Lisayev, psychopath, cyber criminal, is preventing a video I just made about her from uploading to YouTube. And my voice is hoarse because I had to lie on my bed all night breathing in these nauseating, disgusting fumes that she keeps propagating into my unit from the bathroom of 78, which is vacant and empty, according to the Greenville group. They keep saying there's nobody in there. Nobody lives in there. Oh, if somebody's making noises in there, we'll just send maintenance up there to check it out. They never send maintenance up there to check it out. <laughs> because 
they're just negligent. They don't really care what the psychopaths and sex offenders that they house in this building are up to. They just want the money from renting to severely disturb prison inmates like Jasmine Irizarry, like the masturbating scum pervert next door in 88, like the violent thug directly below in 76. Greenville refuses to address the violent, psychotic, intrusive, and aggressive behavior of these low-life scumbags that they keep housing in all three adjacent units to mine because they have a vested interest in getting rid of tenants that are actually functional and who pay their rent entirely out of pocket. I paid my rent entirely out of pocket all the way through 2021. And then I lost my job due to the pandemic. And then I started obtaining grant funding for my rent. And that's when the Greenville group stopped cooperating with my attempts at obtaining grant funding because they're just prejudiced. 90% of the tenants that they rent to are prison inmates, meaning they don't pay their rent at all. The prison system pays the Greenville group to house these dangerous offenders. And that's okay with the Greenville group. But when people like me are trying to get grant money for rent, the Greenville group deliberately blocks their rent funding applications because they are prejudiced, discriminatory, and that is illegal. Anyway, I can't talk anymore. My voice is completely gone thanks to the non nonstop sickening smoke that has been coming from the bathroom located behind this wall, not just throughout the entire night while I was trying to sleep and was being prevented from sleeping. Um, it's kind of hard to sleep when there's nauseating, sickening amounts of smoke being deliberately propagated into your bed area, even when you have the window wide open. And I've been keeping the door to the hallway open throughout the afternoon for ventilation, and it's still just constant. The psychopath, sex offender, and and Greenville's surveillance expert, Jasmine Arizari, is desperate for attention. And that's why she is constantly making slamming and banging noises directly behind this wall and propagating intense amounts of sickening smoke directly from behind this wall. Greenville are a bunch of psycho idiots who tell me that the smoke and fumes are coming from the hallway and the smoke and fumes never come from the hallway because in order to fill this entire space with nauseating, sickening amounts of marijuana smoke, somebody would have to be standing constantly just outside of my door building a bonfire of marijuana in order for it to fill this entire corner with the window open. The reason it's filling this entire corner right here is because Irizarry, their psycho scum reject sex offender, is desperate for attention and is permitted by Greenville to continually access the vacant premises of her former unit, Unit 78, that Greenville has been keeping vacant and empty very mysteriously for two years now, even though it's a private unit with its own bathroom. Um, they keep allowing her to access the premises, and she's not shy about doxing her own physical presence directly behind this wall because she's a desperate reject who has no life and thinks that people who don't want to be her friends are bad people. Nobody wants to be her friend because she's a psychotic piece of shit, and she's never going to have any friends because she's a registered sex offender, a psychopath, and a psychotic stalker who can't leave people alone. That's why nobody will ever have anything to do with that filth irisary who keeps doxing her own presence directly behind that wall. That's just sad for her. I've always had a life. I've always had great friends. I've always had a fabulous uh, social life. And people like her are the trash in the gutter of society. They are the sex offenders, the cyber criminals, the hackers, the stalkers, the crack smokers, and according to Mr. Oleg Lysiev, her handler and sponsor at the Greenville Group, she is a very talented cyber criminal who can get into anything. That's a piece of filth. Why would anybody build a life on hacking into other people's cell phones? Think about that. What kind of piece of shit does that kind of thing for a living, apparently? And what kind of property manager brags to other tenants that they're using a piece of shit like Irizarry to hack into other people's cell phones, to use surveillance devices in their living space? What kind of a property manager brags about that? Oleg Elisayev is the property manager of this building complex. He has bragged to me on multiple occasions about how Jasmine Irizarry is such a talented uh, hacker, she can get into anything. He also referred to her, along with other managers, as their surveillance expert. Who brags about stuff like that? 
criminals. That's who. So the Greenville Group are a bunch of criminals. They use illegal, dirty, below-the-belt tactics to harass tenants that they're trying to get rid of. And they use career thugs, low-life scum like Irizarry to do their dirty work. And I keep making videos about it showing that my phones have been remotely disabled, the apps that I'm trying to use are not functioning when I'm trying to use them, even though they were functioning perfectly well just a few minutes before, because these are the tactics of a crooked Russian slumlord like the Greenville Group and like the property manager, Mr. Alisaev.